Okay, let's say uh, y is equal to x plus 1 over x. Now, here's some quick observation. Look at y cube. We can use binomial expansion to write this. It's x cube plus 3x plus 3 over x plus 1 over x cube. Now let's also look at 9y square. We'll see why in a minute. This is 9x square plus 18 uh, plus 9 over x square. Then let me write y, which is x plus 1 over x, and, and also minus 10 as a constant. Now, if we add these up, we see that y cubed plus 9y squared plus y minus 10 is equal to x cubed plus 9x squared. Then you have 4x here plus uh, 8 plus uh, 4 over x plus 9 over x squared, plus uh, 1 over x cubed, which is uh, precisely 1 over x cubed times f of x. Okay, so let me call this cubic g of y. So uh, this relates our palindromic sextic to some other cubic uh, so let's say if alpha is a root of fx then alpha plus 1 over alpha is a root of gy okay uh, so, I mean, this is nice because we know quite a bit about cubics. Maybe we can build a relation here. Now, we can uh, check that gy is irreducible. <coughs> okay. Now, let's uh, L be the splitting field for G. Over Q again. Now, and K was uh, the splitting field of F. Now, clearly, if alpha, uh, I mean, since alpha belongs to K, alpha plus one over alpha also belongs to K. Therefore, we have this tower of fields, right? K contains L and that contains Q. Now, what happens on the group side, right? So, by the, uh, let, let's use the fundamental theorem of Galois theory here. here. Now, now, since L itself is the splitting field of something, uh, this gal k over l must be a, a normal subgroup normal subgroup of gal k over q by the fundamental theorem of Galois theory and furthermore we know this relation right so gal k over Q quotient by the subgroup is isomorphic to gal L over Q. Right. Uh, now, one of these groups, I mean, let me rewrite this in our notation. Gal K over Q is our G sub F. Gal K over L is some group, which I don't care about here. And the right hand side is 
G sub G, so the Galois group of the cubic. So this uh, this says that the Galois group of the cubic must be some quotient of the Galois group that we're looking for. But we know how to compute G sub G, right? So because it's a cubic. Well, uh, the cubic is irreducible, so it's either isomorphic to S3 or A3. All you have to do is to look at the uh, discriminant of G itself. The discriminant of G, you just make a direct computation. It turns out to be this large prime, 224917. So, which is not a square. So, this tells you that GG is isomorphic to S3. Okay, so now we are more or less done. So, this S3 must be a quotient of GF, so we must have a surjection. phi from gf to s3 which is gg now you it might be difficult to conclude by just looking at the orders here but uh, if we look at uh, the action of this uh, homomorphism on the roots then uh, it's much easier so gf is either remember generated by, in the first case, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 1, 2, 4, 5, and 1, 4, 2, 5. This is one possibility. Or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and one, four, two, five. Now, we have to be a little bit careful about what this means, right? So uh, here the letters signify the roots of the sextic. In S3, the letters that are permuted correspond to these alpha plus one over alphas, right? Now, uh, an inverse pair here, like one, four, or something like that, will be mapped to a single letter here. Therefore, uh, I mean, let me use some S3 is like sim of the set A, B, C, let's say, just to distinguish clearly. Uh, a pair like 1, 4 will go to A and 2, 5 will go to B and so forth. In any case, so the image of such a product of two, three cycles will simply be uh, a three cycle here. Now, this is not surprising, but the other pairs of transpositions is more interesting. If you look at something like one, two, and four, five, it is clear that one and two uses uh, elements from two different pairs of inverses. Therefore, this will be mapped to necessarily to a transposition. A, B, or maybe some other transposition. However, the other, the other one is different. So 1, 4, 2, 5. Either 1 and 4 are in an inverse pair, in which case, uh, you know, they'll map to a single thing, uh, or 1 goes to 5, 1, 5 is an inverse pair, and 2, 4 is an inverse pair. Again, the product of these two will be identity. So in any case, the image of this is identity. Now, let's look at the two possibilities. If we had the second uh, order 12 group uh, as GF, then 1, 4, 4, 2, 5 would definitely go to identity, and the other one would go to a 3 cycle. 
so the image would be a3 and not s3 therefore that cannot be the case you need something that should go to a transposition and that can only be this one two four five so we conclude that uh, gf is isomorphic to the first possibility which is t 6.5 and its order is 24. So uh, this concludes uh, the question for this particular polynomial and this is just an example of how to sort of make a tailor-made polynomial for one of these subgroups. It's not uh, really difficult to catch the other one. Uh, you only have to select the integers a little bit more carefully so that uh, the discriminant of the resulting cubic is also a square which requires a little bit uh, more search but then uh, the right hand side here will be a3 and uh, so you can get the other option and uh, the ones where gf is not contained in a6 are not much very different so this is quite uh, an efficient uh, way to construct different examples for these different subgroups. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you for listening.